Hello Sagittarius, how are you? This is your full moon reading. I believe we have a full moon in Aries on Sunday. I think it's going to be powerful. Okay, so we're going to go into this. We're going to see what message we get for you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up as well. It does help it get out across YouTube. So let us see. This situation does not serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So this relation, this sorry, not relationship. This situation does not serve you. Could be a relationship. I don't know. Release your attachment to the outcome. I think you're going to find it easier to do that now. I think you're going to feel more at peace and more able to not keep thinking about something that was upsetting you. Let's have a look what else we get in here. Journeyman, yeah. This is this is sort of like you embracing your journey now, Sagittarius, and I think you are going to feel genuinely more excited about your journey and genuinely ready to do that uh, whereas in the past you might have been trying to you know say to yourself look you know I've got to I've got to move on I've got to move forward part of you was still clinging on to the past and it, you weren't able to do it but this is different now there is a turning point around this full moon for Sagittarius where you actually do genuinely feel ready for this now you're ready for something new, for a new timeline, a new way of life, a new relationship. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Wow. You've had some kind of awakening, you know, it's like a spiritual awakening before the full moon, Ace of Cups. And it's to do with self-love and realising, you know what, I can't keep attaching to myself to situations that are making me sad. I'm not going to do it anymore because I actually recognise myself as spirit, which is the true love within. And, you know, the spirit within wouldn't want to keep going into those things that made me sad. So there's definitely an awakening of self-love here for Sagittarius. Um, you've also um, been able to balance out your karma here. Um, so this full moon, you might experience a release... A release of some more karmas but it's going to help you because um things will go more in your favor things will go more in your favor because i think you're more surrendered and you're more ready to just be pe at peace with certain things and say to yourself Do you know what there's certain things i have to leave alone now i just have to leave them alone I i've gone as far as i can go with it and it's not in my spiritual best interest to keep thinking about certain things um, and it's helping you to finally just sort of release those last bits of karma to do with that situation. Um, you're going to be very successful going forward after this full moon. Very successful, the world. A major completion, journeyman, new beginning. The first card was all about, you know, releasing an attachment. Um, so, but sometimes an attachment, it doesn't have to be to a person. It can be to an object. It can be to an addiction. But you're going to be successful here. You're going to do very well um, because you've finally completed a, a karmic lesson. Uh, the person who's connecting to you has got the Knight of Wands. It's time for a change for this person. This person's very passionate and I feel they could be very attracted to you either because of, you know, that they've got feelings for you or it could be because of like they're inspired by you or something like that you know if it's platonic but anyway this person is attracted to you and they they know it's time for a change in how they deal with with you or with you know how you're going to work together um I feel like you've both paid off karmic debts. 
So now it's going to be easier to work with each other. Feels like a more equal playing field. Let's see what this person's thinking. Um, this person was undecided. They were undecided either about you or about something going on in their life. Probably multiple things that they were undecided about because everything is mirrors. Um, they needed time to think through things. And that time that they required was probably very difficult, but it enabled you this space to have your awakening. Okay. Um, and that awakening you've had to yourself was pivotal. It was very important. And that's why spirit took you through that process in that, in that way. So you had to work with the energy you were getting and you weren't getting very much from this situation or this person. But now you've both paid off karmas and it's going to be more successful going forwards. Um, let's, I'm using my consciousness deck because I need to work on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, you have got the card here. Avoid attachment. It is ego. It is your ego. Okay, so... Your ego was wanting to attach onto somebody or something. And um, the whole reading is sort of about the fact that you've come more to peace now and acceptance that it's not beneficial to do that. And that actually you love yourself more than that. You're more interested in the love of self. And that has, an it's just enabling on the full moon, it's enabling another release and it's enabling you to end this karmic pattern. I feel um something going forward for you after this full moon in a much more successful way and um possibly it's this connection with this person as well um you know i'm not saying necessarily that you're going to be together in a partnership with this person uh, like a, a relationship but it is definitely going to be much more fair going forwards okay so that's the message. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. If you want to book in, do contact me. And um, I have got that more affordable reading. If you want to ask me about that and book in, just contact me. Peace.